Good morning. Live long and prosper. I'm sure that many of you recognize that. It's from Star Trek. Uh, it really isn't from Star Trek, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. But this symbol, that's known as the symbol of the priestly benediction. And why is the priestly benediction important? The priestly benediction is in this week's Torah portion in the book of Numbers chapter 6. The priestly benediction is one of the most famous, perhaps the most famous, single blessing in all of the Torah. And I don't want to get into too much about the poetry of it and it's the beauty of it and the way the words unfold, because all of that, there's a lot to say about it and I can't fit it into this short time. But originally this was meant, to, it's called the priestly blessing because it was invoked by priests. Now, unlike some other religions, I want to make clear that the priest invoking this has nothing to do with its validity. We learn in the commentaries that the nature of the priestly benediction is always that it's from God. The uh, priests that invoke it are designated by the community or designated by lineage, but it comes from God. The priest doesn't have any necessarily special powers in that regard. It's only God, if you will, that has the special powers. But in today's world, in uh, our movement at least, and in, in many non-Orthodox movements, we use the priestly benediction at significant moments, primarily for life cycles. We use them at a brit milah or at a baby naming. We use them at a bar or bat mitzvah. And we use them at a wedding. Uh, those are just a few of the times we pause to use the priestly benediction as it unfolds. May God bless you and keep you. May God illuminate a life for you uh, and a path for you. And may God grant you peace. That's the essential unfolding of the priestly benediction. So I'm sure you've heard it. The opening line, Yivarech Adonai V'yishmarecha. Ya'er Adonai Panave Lecha V'yichunecha. Yisa Adonai Panave Lecha. Shalom. It has a wonderful poetry. Each line is longer than the next. The important thing to know is that it speaks to us about beauty and holiness and wonder. And our wishes for your future are encapsulated in the beauty of the priestly benediction in Parshat Naso in the Book of Numbers. So Leonard Nimoy, famous Dr. Spock, came up with this idea for the Vulcan sign from this, which is the sign of the priestly benediction. The priest holds their hands for those people who do this like this. And Leonard Nimoy, on the spot almost, this is a very famous story, came up with this as the sign for Vulcans, live long and prosper, which really is the encapsulation of what the priestly benediction is. So that's in this week's portion. You can come to our service this evening, 615 in the Gore Sanctuary, as usual, every Friday night. We're really looking forward to seeing you there. And my final words to you as we move into Shabbat, live long and prosper. Shabbat Shalom.